the free stuff that we got right there on the website. Let's get ready to get this show started, everybody. We will get started right now. Oh, hey, friend. It's so good to see you again. There's no one like you. You can do anything you put your mind to. Just the thing you thought you should know. Are you ready? Because here we go. What's happening, everybody? It is Friday. It is fantastic. It is fantastically and fun for a Friday, right? Uh, well, it is kind of cold here in Ohio. Uh, what's it like where you're at? Is it warm where you're at? Uh, in Ohio, it's kind of cold and shocking, shocking, it's rainy. Um, it seems to be like what this whole week has been. Um, so some questions for you guys. So Friday, what we're gonna do here, uh, fantastically fun Fridays. If you guys haven't figured it out yet, what we are doing is we are, we're kind of hanging out, right? Uh, a lot of uh, times adults, uh, there's a hangout on Fridays. Work's done. People will hang out. They'll go like catch up with friends, all that stuff like that. Fridays, we're going to do the same thing here because I'm going to guess that you have been getting homeschooled either uh, through a computer or by your parents. And you're probably going to want to break the same as they want to break. So that's what we're doing. We're having a break. So this is like kind of our break time. We're going to hang out and we're going to draw. So this is a break for your parents. This is a break for you. So what we're going to do is just kind of hang out. We're going to draw some stuff. I need some interaction in the comments. I need people putting some ideas in there. Um, I need just sharing this stuff, liking these things. So making sure that you are hitting like button for me and you're sharing this stuff is huge. This is how we're going to grow it. Uh, and parents, I'm also looking for some sort of like, if there are any uh, other outlets you could think of, if there's any like uh, websites that you go to for resources or if there are other pages that you go to for resources, could you throw that in the comments for me? I'm trying to find some ways to help grow this get some more eyeballs on it, all that stuff like that. So help me out with that. That would be a huge help. Or if you feel better, just shoot me a message. You can do that as well. Uh, I'm just looking for some ways that we can kind of grow this a little bit more um, and all that good stuff like that. So guys, one of the things I want to talk to you guys about real quick is our K and our cup idea, right? Our kindness thing. So um, what I want to talk to you about for a second before we get ready to draw, because we're going to draw for a really long time today, just so you guys know, is I want to talk about kindness for yourself and others, right? Because let's get it. Let's get, I mean, let's, can I be honest with you guys for a second? I'm going to guess by now that you know that it's good to be nice to other people, right? But sometimes what gets lost in that process is how to be nice to yourself. And sometimes what happens is we get frustrated. And when we get frustrated, we say mean stuff. And most of the time, the mean stuff gets directed right back at us. Because maybe at some point in time, somebody told you that you weren't good enough, or that there was something wrong with you, or any of those things. And what happens is, is when you try something new, you get frustrated. And when you get frustrated, you say mean stuff to yourself. Right, And sometimes you reinforce, what I mean by reinforce, sometimes you use what other people have said to confirm, to make you feel, to make you think that all the stuff that they've said about you is right. Maybe somebody said to you one time, oh, you're not smart enough to do those things. And then the first time that you try to do something that you can't figure out because it's maybe hard, you think, well, I'm not smart enough. See, they told me I'm not smart enough, so I must not be smart enough or whatever it is, that you're too weird to do those things, or you're not good enough to write books, or you're not good enough to do all those things. Sometimes we hear those things and then we look for those things to reinforce in ourselves, things to make sure that we go like, see, they must have been right. But here's the thing, part of being kind to yourself and others is understanding when you're saying mad or mean things to yourself, it's catching yourself in those things. Now listen to me carefully. This is very, very important. I don't even know what I'm doing, right? Here's the secret too. Your parents don't either. Everybody's trying to get through life, figuring things out. We don't always do everything perfect. In fact, perfect never ever goes right. So when we're trying, 
we're trying. That's it. You aren't. You don't need to worry about what other people are telling you that you're not good enough or you're not smart enough or you're not whatever. Because guess what? Those people, the same issues happen for them. So don't spend your time worrying about what other people are saying about you because a lot of times those things are things that they are struggling with with themselves. That's just the way it works sometimes. It stinks and it does not feel good when people tell us bad things about ourselves and it really does not feel good when we're saying those bad things to ourselves as well. So Friday, we're here to have fun. I want you to just have fun. If you can't draw as good as me, perfect. Guess what? I don't want you to. I want you to draw as good as you draw. Not as good as me. Uh, I've been doing this a long time. So I'm going to help you. We're going to draw together. We're going to um, see what we can kind of come up with. Are there any things that you would, any things, any things, does that even sound right? Does any things even sound right? That doesn't sound right to me. Uh, it, any, what do you guys want me to draw is what I'm saying. Put it in the comments. Tell me some things that you would like to see drawn. Maybe something that you have been trying to draw that has been really hard and you can't figure it out, put it in the comments. Maybe there's something that's bothering you this week, put it in the comments. Maybe there's something you wanna get off your chest, put it in the comments. Maybe there's something that somebody has said to you that you don't believe is true, put it in the comments. That's the whole point of us on Fridays. I want us to have a conversation because I have seen in the comments that there are friends that have been made or friends that are coming together in the comments. I want you guys to do those things. I want you to talk to each other. This is the point of adults get together for this stuff. I want you to use this point to get together. Let's make some friends on Wonder Friends. Oh, could that be possible that we can make some friends? So guys, that's what I'm looking for. Make sure you're hitting like button and you're sharing for me. I'm gonna switch over here real quick and you're sharing these things. Help me get the word out there, all that good stuff like that. I'm gonna switch over to this one real quick because it's time to draw and it's time to draw, draw, draw things. Keep putting some stuff in there, guys. Let me know what other kind of stuff that we wanna draw. So as you know, we all get set with this mindful minute thing. And what we're gonna do for the mindful minute is we're gonna remind ourselves of a couple things. We're gonna take a big, big old breath. And then we're gonna to say to ourselves, or you can say it out loud, or you can open your back door and yell it out, or you can tell your dog, or you can tell your mom and dad, or whoever you wanna to talk to, or your pet fish, or your imaginary friend. You say, I am smart. I do matter, I am me, and I am super fantastic. I want you guys to remind yourself of those things anytime you feel like you aren't good enough, anytime that you feel like there's something wrong with you, I want you to remind yourself that that can't be true because I am super fantastic, I have flaws, I am not perfect, and that's what it's supposed to be like. That's how the world works, right? So let's get our hands stretched out. Let's get them loose and limber. Maybe some push-ups, maybe some stretches. Let's do some splits, splits. See, I'm doing a split. Ooh, you can't see it, but I'm doing the splits, all right? Oh, now my hands are good. What's up, K-Kids? Good to see you guys. So what we're doing, everybody, is in the comments, I want you putting in some of the things that you're trying to draw. We're gonna warm up with our warm-up scribble doodle. And how we do that, if you're new to Wonder Friends, is we make a scribble and then I spin mine, you do not have to, but I spin it. And whatever way it lands, I'm gonna create something from this, okay? Now here's the point of this. Don't look at what the scribble is, look at what it can be. You turn it into something that you would like to see, right? So use your imagination and stretch it. So like for this one, I already see something. Immediately I saw something and I'm gonna bet that you didn't even see it, what I'm gonna do. So in your warm up scribble, I want you to draw along with me. You're just gonna draw something and I'm gonna draw something and we're gonna see at the end what we came up with. So this guy, as soon as it spun, I thought this right here looked like, like that was easy. I mean, this one was like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, that's what that's gonna be. What do you think it is? What's it look, a frog, you're right. Did you see a frog right away though? When, when I spun it, did you see that frog right away? Uh, what's kind of fun is sometimes you could split these things upside down and then you could turn it into another character, right? We talked about that yesterday or the other day, how it's kind of fun when you, oh, I, <laughs> that front leg is bent the wrong way now, that you can uh, turn 
one drawing into a couple drawings. That's what's kind of fun. So check this out. Watch when I spin this. This is what's kind of cool. I, uh, this is new to me. Like I, I know that it seems like I should know this stuff because like you guys are watching this show, but uh, this is new to me that I've never tried this before, but I think this is really kind of fun. When you start to spin a character, one takes over, right? Do you see how the frog takes over? And you kind of forget all the other stuff and you see the frog first. But then when I spin it back this way, now this other runny guy uh, takes over and it's kind of fun. So can we draw a unicorn with some rings around his horn like his friends are tossing rings on his horn? Yes, we can do that. Let's get a piece of paper out. I'm gonna write down some of these that I have seen in the comments so I can make sure that before they go away that I can see them. So, beach, give me one second here. Pig with a mustache and pie, whoa. Pig mustache pirate. Say that five times fast. Um, a bunny, a cat, and duck. All right. Maybe we'll do some combo stuff here. So we're going to draw a unicorn with some rings around its horn, like its friends are tossing rings on it. So I'm going to go for it. Let's see what happens. Why don't you guys draw along with me? How are things going? How, how's life treating you guys? How is it? Tell me how it is getting taught by your parents. Are any of your parents uh, like really good at teaching that you are shocked? Like you're completely 100% surprised that your parents are so much better at teaching than when you thought they would be? Uh, has that happened yet? Or are you like... I just want school to be back. My parents, they're awesome, but their teaching style is not as good as my teacher. Rainbow duck with a funny nose. That's a good one too. All right, so, so I wanna do this. That's my unicorn horn. Rainbow duck, the funny nose. All right. Now I got my unicorn horn. I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw a different kind of unicorn today than what I usually draw. I'm going to draw a shape out just like that. And I'm going to draw my usual like little carrot thing in the back. Because we need to make sure that this guy is able to have the ability to look up at his. Oh, same since you were already homeschooled. Well, then, I mean. You should like totally tell your teacher that they're doing so great. You want to go back to school? Yeah. You know, I, I would like to go to schools too. Do you guys know that when this all happened, I stopped doing school visits too. And there was, I think, 20 or so schools that were canceled for me. So I understand what it's like to kind of go. Th that horn doesn't look like it's on its head. It's like, it's like the horn is balancing on its face. So we're going to pretend that um, here's the, okay. I believe this was Emily that came up with this idea. Emily, here's how we're going to make this story work about this unicorn. All right. And so bear with me here. You guys can draw along with me. If you'd like what these are, just so you can kind of see, I'm going to back up a little bit. Those are just boxes. Okay, those are just boxes with ends. This is like a, a U upside down. We got a little bit of a hook around here. Um, I kind of got uh, excited about this one, so I went a little fast. I'm sorry. Uh, this was kind of fun to create. So um, if you need to go back later, this video is all there. You're going to be able to go back and rewatch it if you would like. I got kind of really excited about uh, drawing this because it was just a, a really funny idea. So um, I'm going to draw this and i got my ring on that and there's another ring right here okay emily i believe this was your idea so here's what we're going to do we're going to pretend the story here goes like this this guy right here his name is stanley okay now i'm going to color while we talk 
And you guys can feel free to add some more to this story if you want. But Stanley here, he's actually a horse. And Stanley, on his farm, has decided that he was tired of seeing all the unicorns flying above him. And as he was on the farm and watching all these unicorns fly above him, he wanted to pretend that he was a unicorn. So he found some cones that were wet floor signs in the farms to let the other horses know that the hay was wet. And that way the farmer didn't have a bunch of horses going around falling down because of the wet floor, right? So he had one of those orange cones, right? Just like that. And now, so what Stanley did is Stanley took that wet floor sign and put it on his head. And the other horses thought it was so cool that he, as he stood there, they saw those little pool sinky things, like those little rings like you go dive down for. There was a big stack of them sitting around because the penguins at this, at this farm, because this is a kind of farm that would have penguins also. But these penguins at this farm were hanging out. They were diving down to get them. So the horses borrowed them. And as Stanley was balancing that cone on its head, they started throwing rings on it and playing ring toss on Stanley the horse's fake unicorn head horn. And Stanley was so excited about this that he decided that from now on, on Fridays, he is going to wear a horn on his head or that cone on his head, pretend he's a unicorn, and they're going to play a magical game of ring toss on Stanley's head. That's the end of that story. What would you think? Did that make sense? So check out how that works, guys. I want to back up for a second and show you how this could work for you. I made a mistake, right? The horn was supposed to be on its head, right? Now, I could have gotten upset and thought that, you know, oh, no, I messed up, and I crumbled it up and said I'm not good enough to, to do this and I should start over, right? But instead, you kind of look at, we talk about it a lot, right? I talk about look at for things for what they could be, not for what they are. So I looked at what it could be, and it could be a story. It could be an opportunity. It could be something that could make you guys laugh. Did anybody laugh during that story? Um, if you did, put some like laughy faces in the comments. Let's see them. Um, I laughed about it. I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, but it's kind of fun. And you get lost in this stuff because I tried something new. Instead of giving up, I went with what was there. And I tried something. And who knows? Stanley, the horse that wants to be a unicorn, could become a book one day, right? It could be a thing that happens. And that's kind of what I do as my job is I make stuff up, right? So... We have a pig pirate mustache beach. So you know what I think we're going to do? We're going to smash that all together. Because I think that we should have is we should put a pig that's a pirate hanging out on the beach. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn my page sideways. All right. And I'm going to try to do this one so that way you guys can stick, you guys can draw along with me because I think this could be a really funny one. Because here's the thing. My first job before I started writing books was I was an illustrator. An illustrator tells stories with pictures. Excuse me, I had to get a drink. So here's the thing. I'm pretty sure a pig pirate mustached pig on the beach is a great story to illustrate, right? So what we're going to do is we are going to illustrate that. I love his advice. Thank you, Vivian. I love that. So what we're going to do Guys, I want you to start with a new piece of paper, and we're going to turn it sideways. Now, we're going to do something kind of fun here, and I don't know, and I'm going to be honest with you before we even start. I don't know if this is going to work, um, because usually if I'm going to do something like this, I have a pencil that I try with first. And if you've ever drawn something or wrote something, you kind of start with a sloppy copy that it doesn't matter if you mess up one, uh, I'm using a Sharpie. There's no such thing. So we're gonna roll with it, right? So what I wanted to do, so uh, we're gonna draw a shape just like that, right? This is like a, almost like a fish hook kind of shape, right? 
And then I want you on the front side to draw just a little box like this. All right. Yes, we're gonna do a rainbow duck next. And on this front side, okay, so let me see how we're gonna do that. Okay, so right here on this one, I want you to skip down just a little bit, okay? And we're gonna put a shape just like that, all right? We're gonna do a half circle there. Now remember, our pig needs a mustache. All right, now I want you to put a fancy mustache on it. I want you to put a, a, a mustache that you wish that you could grow yourself on this, right? I want it to be a really a silly mustache. It could be big and fluffy or it could be tiny and skinny. I don't care. I want you to put a mustache because we know this right here is the pig snout, all right? So I want you to put a mustache on it in any sort of way. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do mine. I'm gonna do a crazy, just curly, curly mustache on mine because you know why not right you guys do the same i want you just to put a some sort of crazy mustache on. i'm gonna make mine gray so that way you can see it a lot easier so you can kind of see the mustache so it'll be a little easier for you guys to follow along okay now we got our mustache and our pig is a pirate so i'm gonna draw a little band right there and I'm gonna put an eye patch, right? Because this, you know, I'm gonna make a circle in there. I'm gonna leave that open. Just like so, okay? And I'm gonna, like it's like a skull and crossbones kind of thing, right? And I'm just gonna put a little line right there, that little line for the other eyeball. Okay, now pigs have ears, so I'm gonna do some upside down V's, right? I'm gonna follow along there. And pigs are kind of, they're kind of known for being, you know, kind of chubby. So what I'm gonna do, since I have this space right here, I'm gonna put another little bump like that. And this is kind of like his belly. So I'm gonna put a belly button because I think it'll be funny. Like there's a little belly button right there, right? And our pig is going to be hanging out. So we're going to put a line right there and just put a sideways V right there and then draw another shape back. Okay. So far, I think we're still, it's still looking like a pirate pig, right? You guys following along with me? Uh, again, I have never drawn this before. So like this is a, uh, this is a first for me too. So I'm gonna draw a line up like this and over, and we're gonna draw a parallel line down, okay? So now we have our pig arm, right? Now, pirates have hooks. So we're gonna draw a little shape like that and I'm gonna fill that in. Right, and I'm gonna make my hook, which is a up line, and it's a circle around, and we're gonna draw just a parallel line, a line that goes right beside the line we just drew, and that's how you make that little hook. And if you want to make it like you get these little like ping lines on it to show that something's sharp, can you guys see that? Okay, a little line like that. Right. Now uh, we're gonna put a leg on it. We're gonna put the leg. Like right there and we're gonna put another leg right there <laughs> and we're gonna color the the ends of them in so they're like the the hooves kind of thing right here right all right well I think, I think we have a pig that uh a pirate pig so let's draw some like bumps like this around here and that's going to show like the sand and we're going to put like little put little dots around it right and we're going to put like just some lines back here so that kind of shows our pig is hanging on a beach now he kind of looks like he's propped up a little uh so let's put let's put like a line like this and it's going to be like it's rocks so we're going to put Put some like lines, things like this kind of around there. So it's like rocks. Now, if you guys want to see a cool trick, if you have a gray marker like I do, if you kind of put that just around the edge of that, 
Check out how that looks like a shadow now. Doesn't it look like he's really sitting in front of something right now? It's kind of a cool little trick that you can do with a gray marker that makes it look like something is sitting in front of something. All right, now we're gonna need to make sure that we are showing that it's like a beach. So a beach kind of thing I would think of looks like maybe there's a little bump like this off to the side. Let's put some waves, which are like that, right? They're the opposite, like little kind of things like this, right? And now let's put a palm tree, which is gonna be lines like that. And then we're gonna put like stretchy football shapes, right? Like some real stretchy shapes all the way around, just like so, all right? And I don't know about you, but the beach has the sun, I think is what I, one of the things I think about. Could be something hanging out there, right? Maybe like some, some birds. Those are those little bent bees that you kind of do, right? So I think that that looks like, I mean, he kind of, I mean, let's be honest. Our pig is not wearing any clothes. <laughs> That's what's kind of funny. So let, let's, let's put some clothes on him. Let's put, let's put a line right there. And then let's put another line right below it. And draw some up and down lines right around there. Just like that. And now, um, what kind of pattern would you put on your pig's swim trunks? So put that on there too. Put any kind of pattern. I'm going to just put some polka dots on mine. Like there's polka dot pattern on it. You know what, guys? I think we kind of did it. I'm going to put my name on that so everybody knows who did it. I want you to put your name on yours so everybody knows who did it. I think maybe he should have like one curly hair up, right? So, question for you guys. Maybe he's got like one sleeve that he wears. I'm going to color this one because he's fun. Um, so, the question for you is that like if you did this one, did you think that you could do it? Um, I wasn't sure. I'm going to be honest with you. I wasn't quite sure when we went about that if I would be able to do it because I've never drawn it, but done it before, but I did it and I tried and it worked. Um, doesn't mean it always works. Sometimes you never know until you try something. So uh, that is the cool part about doing things that are new and different. You never know that it might actually work. Um, so this is kind of funny. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna color that. I'm gonna put that one aside. And I'm gonna color that one later. Now we're gonna do a rainbow duck with a funny nose. Um, so now a rainbow duck with a funny nose. Let's get a new piece of paper. And let's, let's keep it sideways like this, all right? Now, gotta get another drink. Make sure you hydrate, make sure you're drinking. I don't want you guys to be like drawing so much that you're sweating everywhere and you don't have enough to drink and you get tired and you know, you get sweat all over your papers because we're drawing so fast and furious today. Um, so let's, Get ready to do the rainbow duck. So um, what I want you to do for the duck is I want you just to draw a kind of a backward C shape, okay? And on the front side, just put a hot dog kind of shape just like so. And put another line right below it and loop it all the way around. Just like that. That's how you make the bill of your duck, right? Now, it has a funny nose on it. So the funny nose, let's put like a big old nose like that. And because it's rainbow duck, let's put let's put some lines on this nose so we can kind of like color it like rainbow shaped, right? And then let's put a couple dots right there because like ducks have nostrils. I don't know if you know that or not, but ducks have like tiny little nostrils. And let's put, let's just put the number 11 right there. So that way we have some eyeballs. Keep it easy, okay? Some eyebrows, the eyebrows go up there. And let's put like some, a funny little hair on it. Cause I mean, I think that seems about right, right? Now I want you to draw a straight line down for the neck of the duck and put a shape like this. So it's really a half circle, okay? Just a 
whoop, down through, okay? And put some little lines like this on it, and that kind of shows feathers. Now we're gonna bring that body all the way around just like so. And they have like a little tiny tail. And we're gonna just make those legs all the way down. They kind of fall off the page. I ran out of page, right? And we're gonna put some lines. Let's just put some lines on the neck of it so that way we can put those rainbow colors in there, right? And speaking of rainbow colors, let's see. I got some right here. Let's see what happens to kind of show you guys what I mean. So we're gonna do red. So we got red. So here's a trick if you ever wanna learn how, and if you don't know it already, the rainbow. It's a really easy way to remember it. It's a word, Roy, G, Biv. Break it up into three things, Roy, G, Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. That's the color of the rainbow, Roy, G, Biv. Really easy way to remember. What's indigo? Indigo is like a dark blue. That's what indigo is. Like think of like your blue jeans, right? That's indigo. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. That's the easy way if you ever get stuck on remembering what the colors of the rainbow are. So red, orange, yellow, green, Blue, where'd you go blue? Blue. And I only have space for violet, so. Right there, look at that. Boom! Rainbow nose on my duck, right? And then you can do the duck bill if you want orange. Right? And if you want, like, you could totally, like, it, you know, do the same thing for the neck, you know, stuff like that. Like, you can add all the rainbow details that you want on this duck. Because why not, right? That's what's kind of cool about the rainbow. It's, it's, like, it's pretty no matter what. So the more rainbow stuff you put on it, the more fun it could be. Right? And put some, like, purple hair on this guy. All that stuff like that. You can have a lot of fun coloring in this rainbow duck, all that stuff like that. Um, and so we have a rainbow duck and a, a cupcake dog. So the cupcake dog, what we're gonna do for that is we're going to, let's draw a shape just like this. It's like the bottom of the cupcake, okay? And then we're gonna cut it across and do a little half circle on the top of it. And let's put some ears. And guys, I just want you to like hang out with me, and draw. So like, if this feels like I'm going too fast, it's okay. Like we're 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 just chilling. We're hanging out. So um, if it's something you're really into, and I'm going way too fast, like let me know. Um, so that way I can slow down for you, uh, and we can go back. But you can also always, if you miss something, go back and rewatch the video. It'll be there for you guys to pick up and all that stuff like that. Um, but anything else, it, uh, so we got, we've got a lot of ideas for drawings in here. How's everybody doing? Like, let's check in a little bit with how's everybody doing. So uh, let me know in your comments here, how's everybody feeling this week? Are you guys, um, are you guys having fun? Are you still getting to do fun stuff, even though we're not really kind of able to go out and do a lot of things right now? Are there fun things that you're still getting to do? And if so, like, what's the, what's your favorite thing that you've done so far? So this is like, I think that looks like a cupcake dog. What do you guys think? Totally cupcake dogish to me. Complete with the tail, wagging, cupcake dog. I'm good, I'm doing good. I'm, uh, I'm working on some new books. I have been making new characters. Um, I'm illustrating a book right now and I'm writing a couple books right now. So I've, that's usually what I've been doing lately is I've been doing a lot of stuff like that. Um, 
what kind of stuff are you guys doing when you go outside? Are you getting to like go ride your bikes and stuff like that? Is that the kind of things that you're up to? Like I've been doing, uh, I've been going outside and running a lot. I usually like, uh, have been, and I and, and I don't like to run. Uh, so that's how much I want to go outside is I go outside to run, even though I don't like running. Um, just to kind of get out of the house a little bit. I think that's what's kind of fun. So this is that gray marker trick that I was talking to you about that you can kind of do. It's fun. It also is a shadow for where it's sitting on a table too. And a great way to do that is if you hide it just by doing a line. And that's an awesome way to show that something's setting on something as well. Um, who's mad? I see a mad face. Somebody got mad out there. <laughs> you guys getting mad because I'm going too fast. So let's, uh, I'm going to sign this. We're going to start a new one. I'm going to sign this one too because why not? Right. Make sure you're putting your name, your, your scooter, soccer, and softball. That sounds like a good time. Sounds like a really good time. Let's set that aside. Now, let's draw. Let's see what else we got on my list. I have a bunny cat dog. How about we do a bunny cat? I think that could be a kind of a fun little thing that we're going to do together. Um, and all that good stuff like that. So, guys, make sure I'm going to take a second here. Just kind of get loosened up for a second again. Uh, if you guys are finishing those things, uh, make sure that you're asking your parents to post those on social media using the hashtag WonderFriends. It's a lot easier for me to find them. Or you got, they can put it in the comments is another really cool thing to do. Um, excuse me. Had to take a drink again. Um, and also make sure that you're liking and sharing. I, that's so important. What I've learned through all this stuff is that the more that we can like and share things, the more people get to see it, all that stuff like that. So if you guys can help me out and do all that stuff, those are the things that I really need. And parents, if you're listening, or kids, if you're listening and you're, you know, your parents are hanging out there, um, after you're done, let them know that I need to know some things that they look at for resources or some things that they look at for ways that to find things to do, because I'm trying to make sure uh, I'm posting to the right things so people can see those. So let's draw a bunny cat, a bunny cat. So let's see, a bunny would have ears, right? There's one ear, and those are just kind of like bent little shapes like that, right? And let's put a circle around just like that. So far, so good, right? And cats have whiskers, so let's draw like three whiskers that are a little longer, kind of hanging out, right? And let's see, let's put some ears, like some hairs up there, right? Now, I think cats like have like little stripes there, right? If your cat has stripes, that's cool. If your cat doesn't have stripes, that's cool too. They maybe they have different shapes. I'm gonna do some of those like that on mine. And let's put a couple like little shapes like this around. And we're bringing this, uh-oh. I didn't realize that I was so close to the edge of my paper. <laughs> Bring it around just like that, all right? Now, so I'll see what happened is my book underneath there because I ran my sketchbook. I have filled up a whole sketchbook already on Wonder Friends. Um, so this is just regular copy paper now. So I'm going to show I'm at the edge there, right? So then I'm going to have a tail coming in on this side. All right. And my cat eyes would be like this and let's have them just like little tiny dots in there you rode your bike earlier today without training wheels that is amazing is that the first time that that's happened if so that's a big step that's really cool like congratulations to you high five all right let's make the cat so we got the cat has like that little like you know, face like that. Let's put a circle around here. And let's put some eyebrows on there. Make some little eyebrows up like that. And he kind of looks confused, right? And I'm gonna, you know, to make sure that everybody knows the cat, I'm gonna put like little tiny teeth 
like that are hanging out there and some dots. That way nobody confuses this with it could be a bunny, right? And I'm gonna put some lines right here. And let's put some like little shapes on the ears, just like this. So that way we see the inside. Now, I think you're with me here that this cat bunny looks confused. I think it looks confused because maybe it's wondering why am I a cat bunny? So let's put a shape just like this down here. And a shape like that. Because I think if there is a cat bunny <laughs> that a mouse would be equally as confused as to why there is a cat bunny hanging out there so that's what that's what we do so this is another illustration right so what we're doing is we're telling stories with pictures um, Cool thing that we can do again, what, like I talked about, like if I have a gray marker, I can put a line around this edges of this. And now it really looks like this guy is laying down, right? That's a really simple, simple trick, guys, if you're looking to make your drawings look like they're sitting on things, right? It's a really easy way to do that kind of thing is to put those things on there like that. I could put my stripes that are on its back or on its head, I can continue them on its back. So that way this character looks like a true cat bunny. That's kind of funny too. It could be a, a funny bunny is what it could be here, right? Kind of a fun thing to do. And let's put some of those in here too, as well. So you guys can color all your stuff as you go. I like to do some of that coloring in here because it's just kind of like, it's fun to start to see them come alive a little bit. Um, but I definitely am gonna go back and color this guy for sure. That's a lot of fun. That was a really cool thing to do. This was a really cool thing to do. Um, and let me see, what else do we got? Let me go back through this again. Uh, space. You guys like cats. We got space cats from Mars. How about we draw? Let's do a rocket ship with a cat in it since we got the uh, space cat da -da 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 -da, space cat all right so up and down on this one and this one here will probably be our last one that we do guys so what we're gonna do is we are going to draw a shape just like this and on the other side the exact same kind of shape on the other side now, on this side, we're going to draw, a, it's like an upside down teardrop. So it goes up, down, and back up. And on this front, it is a teardrop shape. Just like that. Now I want you to put little hot dog shapes on each side of it. That gives us that one part, right? Now, rockets have the shape like at the bottom that it's uh, we're going to put lines on it and those lines that's kind of like the engine part right that makes it shoot like this. and you can kind of if you want put little things like that I'm going to color it so you can see what I mean so if this is like my engine this part
is my like rocket part. Right, it makes it go. Just like that. So that's what, you know, that's how it shoots off. So, all right, here we go. Now, let's draw a circle right in the middle. All right, and then let's put another circle all the way around it. Remember, we're drawing a parallel line, a line that's running right beside another line. Okay, and that is our window into the spaceship. Now, let's draw a cat. So, we're going to draw an oval around just like that. And let's do an upside down V on that side and an upside down V on that side. And I want you to connect those two. Let's draw up and down line there. And let's draw two little lines like that. And a little, just put a dot. That's all we need is just a little dot and a little teeny tiny smile. Right? And we're just going to draw two lines down to connect it, okay? Now, this is gonna say, like we're, in, we're gonna put three lines on each side so it's like whiskers, but let's pretend that like this is glass so we need to put like a little bit of a shape on it like that to show glass. Easy peasy, right? Now, here's a trick. If I'm saying this is glass, I'm gonna call this blue so it looks like kind of glass-like, okay? And as I'm coloring, if you're catching up, don't worry. We've got plenty of time here to, for you to catch up. Now, once that is down, what I'm going to do is I am going to take my gray, because it's a little easier to do with gray, and I'm going to color in my cat. And if you look at when I color in that cat, because the blue is in front of it, what happens now is the cat looks like it's behind the glass, right? Like you're seeing the cat behind the glass. That's what's kind of cool about that is a little trick that we can kind of do. And let's put some, some lines, some like bolts, right? That's going to be on our spaceship. We can do a couple at the top. Just like that. Maybe your spaceship has like a little point on the end of it or some other lines or it has like a couple little things here. Kind of decorate your spaceship how you would like to see it decorated. And there's going to be stars, right? Because it's in space. If you don't know how to make stars, I'm going to show you real quick. Ready? You go up once. You go down and make like an A. And you go from the other side and you cross over. And you go from this side and you cross over the other way. And then you draw a line that connects both of those just like that. And that is how you make a star. So that when you practice it a lot, you can go really fast. So remember, it's up, down, over, over, connect it, right? And you can draw a couple of those around there. And then you can color this in any way that you see fit, right? So color in those things like that. And that, guys, let's sign this. Make sure you're signing it. I'm going to finish coloring all these in. I would post in some pictures. Do I always do Facebook? I do, uh, we have Facebook Live, uh, or these are on from two to three is what we do on these days. But if you go to uh, this website right here, Wonderville Studios, you will see uh, there is a link called Wonder Friends. If you click on that, that will take you to all the YouTube videos. Or you can also, on YouTube, look up Wonder Friends, or Wonderville Studios, sorry. Wonderville Studios on YouTube, and that also will have 
all of my videos. There are, there are, I don't even know. There's a lot. There's a lot of videos on YouTube if you search Wonderville Studio. So it's just spelled just like the middle of the website. Uh, you'll find all that stuff on there. Um, again, guys, as we're wrapping up here, take some of those pictures. Post them online. Use that hashtag WonderFriends so I can find them. Do me a huge, huge favor and make sure that you're liking this and sharing it with other people. That makes a big difference in my ability to help spread the message on all this stuff like this. And don't forget all those books. I've got lots and lots of books that you can check on Amazon uh, if you're looking for a fun story, all that stuff like that. They are all available there. And we have on the website a bunch of free downloads as well. On that website, that Wonder Friends link, you will see lots of free downloads that you can get. They're there. They're not homework. They're just for fun. Uh, and as we're wrapping up for the day... Right, it's Friday, it's the weekend. I wanna just tell everybody, thank you so much. You made it through another week. I appreciate you coming and checking this out. And I know that there are times where you feel like that this can't be, that we're gonna be stuck forever and all that stuff like that. But I promise you this will all end one day and we will get back to some sort of normal. Uh, but I appreciate you coming today. Remember that the key to happiness is embracing your unicorniness. Just because you're stuck inside does not mean that you can't sprinkle your magic on somebody else's day. It's as simple as taking maybe one of these drawings you made today, maybe taking a photo of it, texting it to a friend, maybe leaving it in somebody else's mailbox or just giving it to a mom or dad as a pick me up and making other people feel good. That's the ability that you have called the unicorn effect. And if there is a time that you ever feel like that you aren't special, understand that you are. You're one of a kind. You're really cool. You are you. And that is amazing. Guys, I will see you on Monday from 2 to 3. I appreciate it so much. Have a wonderful day. Have a great weekend too. Thank you so much, Mandy. Or Amanda. So thank you guys so much. Have a great weekend, everybody. I will see you guys on Monday from 2 to 3. Do me a favor, like and share. Spread this around. Let other people know about this. I appreciate you all. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.